Guys, I just want to explain calipers on your car, how to check it, how it works. This caliper design here is more like a regular style caliper that you'll find on um, most of the cars. This is more like a regular style caliper. This caliper here has, it's complete with the bracket. The way the caliper should work on your car, you have sliders in here that's lubricated and um, it needs to slide back and forth like this, nice and easy. If you have to stress, push really hard like <clears throat> for it to move, then you have a problem there. You're basically going to need to take it apart, clean it up, lubricate it, and put it back. Let's take it here, here. <clears throat> so this is your caliper. This is your bracket. So sometimes you have a problem with the bracket where this is seized up in there and it's not moving. See, I can move it with my hand like that. That's normal. That's how it's supposed to move. If you got to take a pliers or something to try to move this, then you have a problem. You should take this apart just like that. Clean this up. Sometimes you got rust. It had no lubricant on it. You brush this up with a wire brush. Clean inside of here. Clean it out really good. And then you lubricate it. Make sure you use brake and caliper grease. Do not use regular grease. Do not use anti-seize or any other thing. Use the brake grease only. Because if you don't and you use anti-seize, it will seize up in there. If, if you use regular car grease or bearing grease, it will eventually seize up in there. It, it, those things don't hold up. This gets really hot in there and um, the brake grease was designed for this so make sure you use the correct grease and lubricate it put it back yeah make sure it's nice and free like that then you have a good working bracket normally uh, when these things are seized up in here you're you can get a spongy brake pedal or you can get um, brake pad is eating up on one side you have two brake pads and one side will eat up and um, that's some of the problems that you'll run into and in, on your brakes uh, pad, pads eating up now the caliper, you can have a problem here. This is the caliper piston right here. Behind this piston in this reservoir right here, your brake fluid comes in and it, when you step on your brake, that brake fluid pushes this piston out and it squeezes the brake pad that squeezes onto the rotor that sits there. That's how you get your brakes. Sometimes this will be hard to move. It gets really tight and it will move and then you don't want to go back in. So that's another symptom right there for a brake problem. If you if this comes out and you want to know if your caliper is good or not, I mean, if you're having a brake problem, they're eating up your brake pads, what you want to do is when you use one of the clamps to push it back in, they have special tools to push this back in. Sometime I'll use, uh, sometime I'll use one of these, but you got to be careful with this if you're going to use this because um, not all caliper piston is made out of metal. If your caliper piston is not made out of metal, you don't want to see that's metal. This is not metal. You wouldn't want to use this. This is going to punch a hole straight through it. You can put an old brake pad there and push on that, or you can get the correct brake caliper tool to push it back in. Now, when you're pushing your caliper back in, the piston back in the hole re to reset it for brake job, if it's hard to go back in, you have a problem here. You have a, a, a worn caliper that the seal is going bad on it. Sometimes it'll leak brake fluid here, and sometimes it'll just be really tight around the piston, and you don't want to slide back and forth nice and easy. So if it's not sliding back and forth nice and easy, just like the bracket, you need to replace that. You can replace this and this, like this one I'm doing here right now. This is brand new. Um, I'm replacing both because it's old. It has issues, so it's time to put a refresh on it, and then you'll have 100% brakes when you step on that brakes so that basically how your brakes really works your caliper works okay you can have brake leak here and you need to replace it and it gets seized up in here you need to either replace it or, or lubricate it clean it up really good and then uh, if you do that whenever you're changing caliper my recommendation is to change the brake hose along with it because if this is old and you're having problem this might be old too and you can have problem inside of the brake hose in the future it'll get ruptured in there and um, it'll cause brake issues. Maybe another time I'll explain brake hose, but I just want to explain how your brake caliper works in your car.
and uh, how to service it. I'll do another video one day servicing one of these and show you exactly how I clean it up, lubricate it, and put it on there and see how it works. Yeah, so if you're doing your own calipers or you're checking your own brakes for this issue, <clears throat> this is pretty much all it is really to a caliper. <clears throat> there are different design calipers out there, uh, slightly different, um, especially on the rear. It has a, a screw type caliper that you have to put this back in the hole. You have to screw it with a special tool and push it back in there. Um, so this is basically a, a normal, I would say a normal style caliper that you, that's you been around for years. Hopefully uh, I help somebody today. <laughs>